flexor retinaculum of leg flexor retinaculum in the leg is located on the medial side of the ankle joint this is the medial aspect of the foot this is the medial malleolus this is navicular this is medial cuneiform this is calcaneum these are the tarsal bones this is the first metatarsal this is proximal phalanx and this is the distal phalanx now we will see the attachments of the flexor retinaculum anteriorly it is attached to the posterior border of medial malleolus right here and posteriorly it is attached to the medial tubercle of calcaneum these are the attachments now we will see the structures that pass deep to the flexor retinaculum there are three tendons one nerve and one artery the first tendon is the tendon of tibialis posterior which got inserted into the navicular this is the tendon of tibialis posterior which got inserted navicular next is the tendon of flexor hallucis longus which got inserted at the base of the distal phalanx this is the flexor hallucis longus tendon which got inserted at the base of distal phalanx of big toe next is the tendon of flexor digitorum longus which first crosses the tendon of tibialis posterior then goes underneath the tendon of flexor hallucis longus and got inserted into the first metacarpal metatarsal these are the three tendons the structures that passes deep to the flexor retinaculum are posterior tibial artery and the tibial nerve this is the posterior tibial artery and this is the posterior tibial nerve let's see the structures again first is the tendon of tibialis posterior next is the flexor digitorum longus tendon then comes the tendon of flexor hallucis longus and the last structures are posterior tibial artery extensor retinaculum of leg there are two types of extensor retinaculum in our leg superior extensor retinaculum and the inferior extensor retinaculum the superior extensor retinaculum is in the form of a rectangular band while the inferior extensor retinaculum is y shaped the superior extensor retinaculum is attached medially to the lower part of anterior border of tibia and laterally to the lower part of anterior border of fibula while the inferior extensor retinaculum is y shaped it has two bands and one stem the stem is attached laterally to the anterior non articular surface of calcaneum calcaneum is a tarsal bone while the two bands the upper band is attached to the anterior border of medial malleolus and the lower band is attached to the plantar aponeurosis content from medial to the lateral side include tibialis anterior tendon the superior extensor retinaculum encloses the tibialis anterior tendon the tibialis anterior tendon is also enclosed by the upper band but it is not enclosed by the lower band then extensor hallucis longus tendon it is not enclosed by the superior extensor retinaculum also it is not enclosed by the lower band it is enclosed by the upper band extensor hallucis longus tendon passes deep to the superior extensor retinaculum and the lower band and it is enclosed by the upper band next comes the anterior tibial artery and the deep peroneal nerve 
both the structures are not enclosed by any of the retinaculum both the structures passes deep to the superior and the inferior retinaculum the next structure is the extensor digitorum longus tendon which is enclosed by the stem of the inferior extensor retinaculum it is deep to the superior extensor retinaculum the last structure in the content includes the peroneus teratus tendon which is enclosed by the stem of the inferior extensor retinaculum and it passes deep to the superior extensor retinaculum a quick review of the content includes tibialis interior tendon then the extensor hallucis longus tendon then there is anterior tibial artery and the deep peroneal nerve then comes the extensor digitorum longus tendon and the last is the peroneus tertius tendon so this is peroneal retinaculum in leg includes superior peroneal retinaculum and the inferior peroneal retinaculum both these retinaculum are located on the lateral side of the ankle joint this is the superior peroneal retinaculum and this is the inferior peroneal retinaculum the superior peroneal retinaculum is attached anteriorly to the posterior mar margin of lateral medullus while posteriorly it is attached to the lateral surface of calcaneum the inferior peroneal retinaculum is attached superiorly to the interior part of superior surface of calcaneum and inferiorly to the lateral surface of calcaneum content of peroneal retinaculum includes two tendons peroneus longus tendon and the peroneus brevis tendon first we will see the peroneus brevis tendon peroneus brevis tendon passes inferior to both the peroneal retinaculum and get inserted at the base of the fifth, me fifth metatarsal then comes the peroneus longus tendon which passes inferior to both the retinaculum and get inserted at the base of first metatarsal the important point about the peroneal retinaculum is that the both both these tendons are enclosed in a common synovial sheath but when they passes through the inferior peroneal retinaculum they get enclosed into their individual synovial sheaths